Hello, fellow gamers. <clears throat> what the hell? I what? 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 I couldn't even get an intro in. What's happening, guys? Whoa. Okay. What? What? Hello, fellow gamers. It is I, I'm a player, and apparently Seagoon is like, we're going in right now, right? Ham, ham mode activated. And I'm, I'm totally cool with that, except for the fact that he absolutely demolished me at my party last time. So I doubt this is a good way to start the episode up. Well, this is a good way, however, to seg into an apology here, because maybe a couple of you will be like, Yo, dude, wh wh where's them, you know, where's them Knights at Rachel's at? I, I know that's a very popular game, and I'll go back to that. However, that game has actually, like, legitimately been freaking me out because of how scary it is to me, and how much it's killing me, and it is a tough game for me to play. So, it took me a while to get back into the mood of playing it, and I did play it about two hours ago. I recorded a night four, and then I, I didn't turn down the volume on my microphone, so the audio of the video is completely unusable. So I'm sorry, Night 4 is sadly missing from our playthrough. I'm going to have to start up Night 5. But I'm promising I will get back to Rachel's probably tomorrow. Like, I will get get back to that game, I promise you guys. Because you guys really seem to like that game. And again, if you want to see more of that, if you want to see any particular games, somebody said, uh, sorry, I'm really tired right now and I forgot to look up the comment before the video. So he told me to play Final Lights 2? I heard about that game, but I've never seen it. I've never played it, so I'm kind of interested what that looks like, what that game's all about. So yeah, those not oh hello. And also, I'm getting a PS4 pretty soon, thankfully, because I actually wanted to have that for a while, but I didn't really have any reason to purchase it. What is that? And once I have that, oh crab apple, that's nice, but it doesn't really look all that apple-ish. Never, I'll, I'll do it. I also have a PS4. There will also be some Bloodborne on this channel. I know I'm like two years late. Actually, just one year late. But uh, I freaking I I finished Dark Souls since you know since I did that play from the, the, the three parts on the channel here. I finished Bloodborne. I'm currently in a new game plus, so I may actually show off a couple of Blood, uh, Dark Souls three gameplay here and there. Now that I'm actually decent at it, because. Wow, that was a tough uphill battle. I was awful at that game, trust me, until the very last boss. I was just so angry all the time, and I didn't want to show that to you guys. Like, it, I have made no progress half the time. The fuck? I should probably be focusing on the game I'm playing right now, but I think this is a good time as any to, to, to tell you guys what's... What the fuck is going on here? Scott, you're some weird man here. Welcome to Lalbit's Bite Store. These UV shoot slays are very high damage. Alright, I'm gonna take it then. Ah, oh, damn it, this sounds good. I like it that. But yeah, there's so many games I would like to play for you guys, but for one reason or another, I just simply can't. Like, for example, I'd love to play 3DS games, but... But I don't have a 3DS capture card. I don't trust people around the world enough to send my 3DS and some money in to get that fixed. And up until now, I didn't have a PS4, but once I get that, oh my god, we've got to be playing Bloodborne. Whoa, that is a lot of damage. Holy shit! That is the most damage I've ever dealt so far. That is a good ass UFO. Oh, well, I mean, that was that was an amazing investment. I think things are going to get a lot easier when I'm out with that. Scott, that thing's kind of broken. It's kind of OP over there. Yeah, I don't hear me complaining. Totally cool with that. Totally fun. Bash jam. Yeah, like I'm honestly gotta gotta be honest here. This game is much better than I expected it to be. I mean, it's not like the weaving tales of epic proportions, but for what it is, it's a pretty you know. Pretty interesting game, pretty unique RPG. I just don't know why it doesn't RPG to begin with. I'm not a horror game. I, I just, I just, I understand, Scott. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to put, you don't want to be just one thing for the rest of your life. I understand that, but man, that this is so out of left field. At least if you had taken new characters or something. I know, gotta milk that IP dry. I totally understand that, but wow, that UFO just kicks ass. I didn't even get to do anything. The UFO just did everything for me. That is, that is beautiful. This is like this. Why am I here? What? Oh, there's a glitched item. I didn't see that. Hmm. Hello. I'm back in. What is this? Atari Land. Scott, you really, you really love your Atari-styled mini games. Where am I going? I'm looking. I'm keeping my eye out for glitched objects. Balloon Boy, everyone's favorite. You can't even sit it in Jess. I fucking hate Balloon Boy. So annoying in the games. Please no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What art? And let me back here! Just, you know what? Don't ever, do not ever go with the very first exit you find in those Atari worlds. You're going to, you're going to regret it. 
you're going to lose a lot of progress for that. Alright, time to go back up. So glad I can go diagonal. Also, I looked up, uh, I looked up for the first time the FNAF wiki, and I gotta be honest, people apparently were complaining about the fact that initially this game only had a 2D overworld map. I prefer to look at that quite a lot. This one literally just looks like you took the 3D models and put them in there, and I don't like it as much. 2D ones look unique! Very Dragon-esque, you know, Dragon Quest-esque. I really like that. I don't know why people complain about that. I feel like the complaining... Kind of, we lost something very, very unique and nice. Because people just wanted it to be 3D! I don't know. Maybe it's just, you know, the old... The retro game of me being like, no, I would love to make... To, to have it look like an NES Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest game. That 8-bit, that shit's awesome. But I guess that's not what most people these days want with their video games. I guess I can respect that. I'm just gonna have to accept that eventually the people like me that grew up with NES and SNES and all that kind of stuff... Uh, we're old and the mainstream market is no longer going to... Nope, not going there. Nobody's going to really cater towards us anymore. So sad! Oh my god, where can I go? I'm gonna go deeper. I'm gonna go to the deepest that I can possibly go. Yeah, that is creepy. I do enjoy this quite a lot. That is a very... Uh... Oh, it's back out of here. Okay. That is a big-ass glowing... Okay, it, it, it calmed down. Spring Bonnie! Male, female, it's a rabbit. Who cares? <laughs> Scott, Scott, you should... Oh, Black Tomb Yard. Alright. Jesus. Oh, and then it just goes back to that normal, regular music. Greg, yeah, that that's totally not suspicious at all. Also, somebody... Somebody in the comments of the last FNAF uh, World video... wrote me to wait at Fredbear's final talk scene for about a minute or two. Issue with that is, I don't know what his final talk scene is! Like, how would I know that? I have no idea. I haven't played this game, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know when he last shows up. God, is this the last part? I don't know, there's more to it. I guess I can just sit here for a second. Let's go. This is a horribly spooky place. I think I'll stay right here. You already need to keep going. This is a great year for broken I want to create. It's full of nastiness and traps. I don't think everything here that seems. Check the raves and trees. This whole place is full of illusions. Alright, so we can just sit here for a minute or two and just relax. Hi! How you guys doing? Oh! One thing is true, nothing here is as it seems. Oh... Okay... You need to find another clock, but the past will not be easy. There's a secret subcourt that leads to pinwheel circus under this graveyard. Find a clock, everything else is deception. Oh? Thank you for that tip! Thank you! Find a clock! Alright, we're finding that clock! Was that Fredbear from FNAF 4? At the end? Welcome. The bomb uh, detonated once per battle for instant damage. I don't know, that sound, doesn't sound very helpful. I think the UFO with its consistent damage is a lot better, but who knows. Alright, Scott, as I was hoping, there is some other crazy nonsense going on around here. Oh, that is supposed to be an entrance. I thought that was like supposed to be a circle. Like a half circle. Unfinished. Damn. That was some creepy shit right there. I was expecting a jump scare, but you know what? Scott... Oh, whoa, 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 what the f What happened there? I got an item! What? How the hell did the goddamn game decide? Yeah, now it's a good time to throw enemies at me. Random battles are supposed to be activated by me walking, not getting things. What? What? Oh, they're still, they're still stunned. Pretty good. Boom! Yeah, keep that shit up. Party favors, pop them, pop them! Hot cheese. Pizza wheel. Yeah, I don't know. Freddy doesn't seem that strong. Uh, Bonnie so far seems to be the strongest of the Bash Jam. That, that attack is good. Also, you have. Oh, god, she got. I didn't even see you die there. Toxic Bite. Munchies. And uh, Water Hose. Boom! Yay! Kill this one of them. It's good. It's a good start. God, why does it look like Freddy's just eating something? I don't like that. No, no, no. I don't like that. Best jam! Let's go! Thank you, UFO. You're literally the most consistent 
Okay, yeah, it's almost because it's DPS of all of us. Pretty sad, actually. Okay, what the hell did I just get? I got a chip. Jump scare makes you immune to jump scare. Everybody's all surprised. Comments may originally fall. Yeah, you know what? I, I like the way it's spring. This is actually a cute character. I don't know if it's probably, it's probably, it, it's just a very bright green eyes. I like green eyes. And that was probably just, it's also the same reason why I like uh, Rachel herself in those lines of Rachel. So I think she's, she's very nice with those green eyes. It's very nice. But it doesn't help change the fact that she's about to kill me whenever I'm nearby. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to go into the mines because there's nothing around. Oh, prototype! Hello, good sir. Have that. Uh, and this. Yeah, you've all you might you may want to kill him. That's cool, you. You know, I'm gonna start chat. I want the poison on him. Speed song. Yeah, everybody, speed up. Munchies on the floor. I want all of the UTs. Uh, birthday. Boom. Okay, so I have to find a clock. Everything else is deception. What does that even mean? Was I supposed to be looking and waiting every single time? I might actually go back and try in a new game. See if Fredbear freaks out every single time I wait for him. That is crazy. Just die already. How much longer can this take? Yes! GD, she leveled up. Good. Sweet. Sweet! I like leveling up! It's the best part about an RPG. Leveling up singles numbers go up. Though to be fair, I don't even know the numbers right now. I don't know if it increases HP or anything. I just know there's stuff happening. Also, I've never gotten keys, so I don't know what... Oh, rip. Oh, Tom Stack. Okay. Birthday! Jetski! Literally just called enemies of the attack. I'm a Pokemon now. Pika, Pika. Oh my god. And yes, I know I left Pokemon unfinished. I that the file and everything is still there. I'll probably go back to it at some point, but when you realize just how basic of an RPG Pokemon is, the idea of recording it and editing it and preparing it for multiple days of your life kind of becomes a burden. Oh shit, alright, I'm getting out of here. Munchies! Hold them down, come on. Really? How much HP do they have? Look at my toss. I thought just, like, willy-nilly just toss them at him. Okay, I need to heal up. Fan Chick is about to die. I can't have that! Yeah! Good job, guys. Okay, so the mines are a lot harder. I'm guessing the mines are supposed to be the main dungeon of the game, but that is, that is a lot harder. Alright, so the secret of Fredbear has been revealed. There's in fact more to that cuddly little 3D animatronic than it seemed. And now we're in the deep metal mines. I'm guessing that the mines are supposed to be the hard part of the game. It's gonna be interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment and consider subscribing. If it didn't, hit the dislike and let me know why. And until next time, game on.